In the early days of World War II, as nations scrambled to adapt to the ever-evolving demands of aerial warfare, one engine would come to define the sky, the Bristol Hercules. A product of desperation, innovation, and sheer engineering brilliance, this mighty radial engine would serve as the heart of numerous iconic aircraft, from bombers to fighter planes. Designed by the Bristol Aeroplane Company, it wasn't just an engine, it was a symbol of British resolve. Today, we uncover the shocking truth behind the Hercules engine, its creation, its legacy, and the secrets hidden in its powerful cylinders. A strategic need for power. In the late 1930s, as the clouds of war gathered over Europe, Britain found itself struggling to maintain an edge in the air. While Germany and the United States were pushing forward with advanced engines, Britain lagged behind in terms of aviation power. To compete, Britain needed a game-changer. Enter the Bristol Hercules. At the time, the need for a new engine was urgent. British aircraft, though effective in design, were often underpowered, leaving them vulnerable to the faster, more agile Luftwaffe machines. A solution was required not just for power, but for durability and versatility, qualities the Hercules engine would come to embody. With Britain's survival hanging in the balance, engineers at Bristol took on the immense challenge of developing an engine that could handle both the extremes of aerial combat and the demanding wartime production schedules. They needed to design something that could compete with the formidable German engines, while ensuring reliability and ease of maintenance. This led to the creation of the Hercules, a 14-cylinder radial engine capable of generating up to 2,000 horsepower, designed to power the new generation of British aircraft like the Wellington Bomber and the Bowfighter. It was this urgent need for power and strategic thinking that laid the groundwork for the Hercules development. Innovation or Necessity – The Design Dilemma When designing the Bristol Hercules, engineers had to tread a fine line between innovation and practicality. The challenge was clear, create an engine that could rival the Luftwaffe's best while still being mass-producible and easily maintainable under the stresses of war. The result was a sophisticated yet rugged engine featuring a 14-cylinder double-row radial configuration. The Hercules was designed for reliability above all else, with its rugged build ensuring it could withstand the rigors of extended combat missions. However, this focus on durability also came with compromises. The engine was heavy, and it demanded significant resources to build and maintain. The complexity of the design led to difficulties in manufacturing, and the Hercules often required meticulous upkeep to ensure peak performance. Yet, despite these challenges, the Hercules became a cornerstone of British aviation. Its design was driven not by the pursuit of radical innovation, but by the necessity to keep Britain's planes airborne in the face of overwhelming opposition. For the engineers at Bristol, the goal was clear – to provide a workhorse engine that could handle both the daily demands of war and the intense pressure of aerial combat. The Hercules was designed with both practicality and necessity at its core, and it paid off. It powered iconic aircraft like the Lancaster bomber and the famous Mosquito, providing the endurance and strength needed for strategic bombing campaigns. The Hercules engine, powerhouse of the skies. The Hercules engine's true strength lay in its adaptability and power output. With the ability to generate up to 2,000 horsepower, it powered some of the most formidable aircraft of World War II, including the British Wellington and the Fairy Barracuda. What set the Hercules apart from its contemporaries was its sheer endurance. It was designed to be used for long-haul missions, ensuring that bombers could traverse vast distances to deliver their payloads and return home without sacrificing performance. The Hercules was also remarkably versatile, able to operate in various configurations, from powering multi-engine bombers to smaller, faster fighters. 
Its robust design, combined with its impressive power-to-weight ratio, made it an invaluable asset to the British Air Force. But what made it truly special was its ability to keep going under intense stress. Unlike other engines of the era that often faltered under prolonged combat use, the Hercules thrived. The engine's resilience meant that it could endure the relentless pounding of aerial combat, offering a rare combination of speed, power, and reliability that was crucial for the survival of Allied airmen. As Allied bombers pounded German targets from the skies, the Hercules engine, almost unnoticed by the enemy, kept the machines aloft. It wasn't just a technical marvel, it was a silent partner in the battle for air superiority. It served not just as the beating heart of British aircraft, but also as a symbol of technological progress in the face of daunting odds. Reliability Under Fire – The Engine's War Record when the Hercules engine was thrust into the harsh realities of World War II, it faced challenges that would put its durability to the ultimate test. But it passed, and then some. As British bombers and fighters took to the skies, they carried with them more than just a powerful engine. They carried a legacy of reliability. One of the defining characteristics of the Hercules was its ability to withstand the rigors of combat. From the damp airfields of England to the scorching heat of North Africa, the engine performed time and again, proving its worth. As the war dragged on, the Allies' reliance on strategic bombing grew, and with it, the Hercules engine's reputation for being an unwavering workhorse. The engine powered the RAF's Wellingtons, Lancasters, and the daring Mosquito fighters, all of which played pivotal roles in the success of Allied bombing raids. What set the Hercules apart was its simplicity in design, which allowed for easier maintenance compared to its German counterparts. While the Luftwaffe relied on more complex, finely tuned engines, the Hercules' straightforward construction allowed it to survive the harshest conditions. However, like all war machines, it was not without its flaws. The engine's heavy weight and occasional maintenance issues would occasionally cause problems, but they were minor compared to the engine's overall effectiveness. By the time the war reached its climax, the Hercules had proven itself as one of the most reliable and essential engines of the war, cementing its place in aviation history. The Secret Ingredient – Strategic Engineering Decisions Behind every successful piece of wartime engineering lies a series of strategic decisions, and the Bristol Hercules engine was no exception. Engineers at Bristol Aeroplane Company made careful design choices to balance power, weight, and efficiency. One of the most crucial decisions was opting for a double-row radial configuration, which allowed for better power output and smoother operation. This design reduced the overall weight and made it easier to fit into multiple airframes. Additionally, the inclusion of an updraft carburetor ensured consistent fuel mixture delivery under extreme flight conditions, enhancing engine performance in combat. However, these decisions were also compromises. The complexity of the design made maintenance more difficult, particularly in wartime environments. There were no guarantees that the Hercules would function perfectly under all conditions. Despite this, the engine's basic reliability remained impressive, but these strategic decisions were not made in a vacuum. The relentless pressure of the war effort meant that sometimes the cost of speed and efficiency came with a price. Maintenance. For instance, the decision to push for lighter components sometimes led to components that could not handle the stress of long, grueling combat operations. Nevertheless, the Hercules stood as a testament to the British ingenuity in balancing innovation and practicality during a time of overwhelming pressure. The Turning Point – When the Hercules Began to Show Its Age by the mid-1940s, the Hercules engine, once a revolutionary force in the skies, began to show signs of age. As the war dragged on, new, more powerful and efficient engines were developed by both the Axis and Allied forces, leaving the Hercules in the dust. 
While still reliable, it was now underpowered compared to newer American engines, like the Pratt and Whitney R2800. Its weight became a liability as newer aircraft designs pushed the boundaries of speed and maneuverability. Furthermore, the rise of jet engines and the Allied shift toward faster, more heavily armed fighters further highlighted the shortcomings of piston-driven engines. The Hercules' lack of armor protection and its vulnerability to overheating, especially in hot climates, became problematic in prolonged campaigns. As the Allies advanced, the need for more advanced and versatile engines grew. However, despite its limitations, the Hercules remained an important asset to the British and Allied forces until the end of the war. The engine's decline was inevitable, but it marked a turning point in aviation history. Though replaced by more advanced designs, the Hercules had already proved its worth, demonstrating the importance of adaptation, longevity, and strategic decision-making in the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare. Legacy and Rediscovery – The Engine That Shaped Aviation History The Bristol Hercules engine's legacy is undeniable. Though eventually surpassed by newer technologies, it remains a critical piece of aviation history. Post-war, the Hercules became a symbol of wartime ingenuity and British perseverance. For decades, the engine powered various aircraft in military and civilian capacities. It had been a workhorse during the war, and its design influenced future engine technology. In recent years, the Hercules has found new life in aviation museums, where it is remembered not just for its historical significance, but also for its groundbreaking engineering. The engine continues to fascinate aviation enthusiasts and historians alike. It remains one of the most iconic radial engines ever built, a testament to the era's technological advancements. Although modern jet engines have long since eclipsed the Hercules in terms of speed, reliability and fuel efficiency, the engine's place in the annals of history is secure. For many aviation enthusiasts, the Hercules represents the apex of piston engine technology and the powerful role it played in shaping both the outcome of the Second World War and the future of military aviation. The stories of pilots who trusted the Hercules on dangerous missions continue to resonate, ensuring that the engine's legacy is far from forgotten. The end of an era, the fall of the Hercules, and the rise of the jet age. As the jet age dawned in the post-war years, the Bristol Hercules engine, along with other piston-driven engines, began to fade into obsolescence. The rapid advancements in jet propulsion left the Hercules behind, its once reliable power replaced by the sleek efficiency of turbojet engines. The British military, like the rest of the world, shifted its focus toward faster, more powerful jet aircraft, relegating the Hercules to the history books. Despite its success during the war, the engine's shortcomings became glaring in an era where speed and firepower were paramount. The Hercules, while never designed to compete with jets, had already carved out its place in history. It had done what was needed to win the war, but in peacetime, with new threats emerging, the demand for propeller-driven aircraft dwindled. The Bristol Hercules, though no longer in active use, remains a symbol of a bygone era. Today, aviation enthusiasts and engineers look back at the Hercules with reverence, recognizing it as one of the pivotal engines of its time, a crucial part of Britain's wartime aviation dominance. While its time has passed, its legacy is preserved, reminding us that in the world of aviation, progress is never linear. The Bristol Hercules engine stands as a testament to wartime innovation, a symbol of British resilience, and a key player in the victory of the Allies during World War II. Though eventually overshadowed by the rise of jet technology, its legacy remains strong in the hearts of aviation enthusiasts and historians. Today, the Hercules reminds us that every era of technology is shaped by the engines that drive it forward, and that some machines, though short-lived, leave an indelible mark on history. What other legendary aircraft engines should we explore next? 
Let us know in the comments. Until then, keep your curiosity soaring.